I was really focused on on reaching my goals, and I knew at that point I, there was one player that I wanted to pass. I wanted to pass Steffi Graf's record, and that really meant a lot to me. And you did. when I put my mind to something, I really am determined to reach it, no matter what. Um, I feel like winning for me is super addictive. I feel like once you experience it, you always want to get that feeling again. And when I won my first championship, I was only 17 years old, but I never forgot that feeling. And I feel like every time I win one, I want to reach that feeling of your first championship. There's really no feeling in the world like, like that. Like it? Yeah, and it's like you all these years of training and being a little kid and playing and then Winning is, is just a wonderful experience. So for me, um, I've always felt like I love that feeling. For me, when I grew up, I always wanted to be the best. And I said, if you want to be the best, you got to emulate the best. So when I started to go on tour when I was really young, I would see Steffi Graf, I would see Monica Sellis, and I would even see Pete Sampras. Um, and I would see what they did. And I noticed that Steffi and Monica didn't really talk to a lot of the other players. and. They kind of were on their own and they were just so focused. And I would see that Pete Sampras, the technique that he did. And and I, and I was like, I want to do that. So I did that. And I felt like to be the best, if you want to be the best, you have to hang around people and you have to look at people that are the best because you're not going to be the best if you're looking at someone that's not at the top yeah. level. I hate to lose, but I think losing has brought me to here today. It's the only reason I am who I am is because of my losses. And some of them are extremely painful, but I wouldn't have take any of them away because every time I lose, it takes a really long time for me to lose again because I learned so much from it. And I think I encourage like everyone that I talk to, I'm like, listen, if you lose or if something happens, not in sports, in business or in school, learn from it. Don't live in the past, live in the present, and don't make the same mistakes in the future. And that's something that I always try to live by. I have to tell each and every one of you that it doesn't matter how how old you are, how young you are, your age, you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. And I always say, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And the reason that I always say that is because I didn't grow up with things being handed to me. I had to work hard, I had to dedicate myself, and I had to be determined, and I was. Even outside of sport, it could be education, it could be business, it could be anything. Um, it, it requires discipline and hard work and determination. And most importantly, it requires self-belief because like me, some people might not believe in you, but you have to believe in you. And sometimes you, you're gonna be your own cheerleader and you have to be your biggest and your best cheerleader. So to all you young athletes, take that to heart and never stop believing in yourself and really always support who you are. I went on the courts with just a ball and a racket and a hope and, and that's all I had. And I, it's inspiring for all you guys out there that want to do something and want to be the best that you can be and want to do the best that you can do. You just never give up because you never know what can happen. You never know who you can inspire and um, who you can influence.